Why haven't people learned that defending Trump is a huge fail? And it will only leave you looking like a dumbass. Apparently, the embarrassment clearly isn't enough to get it. The latest ignorant folks are four top conservatives taking a hand at justifying Trump's alleged collusion with Russia in the 2016 elections. First up, we have Fox News' Sean Hannity. Last Friday during his radio show, the host questioned if collusion was really a serious matter. Take a look. I never understood it anyway. What was the collusion that maybe somebody in the Trump campaign talked to somebody in Russia? Is that a crime to say release it? To show the truth? To show damaging information? Fox's Greg Jarrett said there's nothing wrong with collusion back on May 30th in an interview with John Scott. According to him, it's perfectly fine to collude. I said it before and I'll say it again. Collusion is not a crime, only an antitrust law. You can collude all you want with a foreign government in an election. There's no such statute. Also in May of this year, Geraldo Rivera couldn't understand the issue with Trump's collusion either during his Fox segment. In fact, he wasn't even sure if it's illegal. Yet he described his breakdown of collusion as being revolutionary. Right, a revolutionary lie. What is the crime? If uh, the Russian uh, KGB chief is talking to Paul Manafort and, and, and the chief says, you know, I got this dirt here that says uh, Hillary Clinton was d d this or that. But there's no evidence and, uh, anyway. and, and Paul Manafort says, next Wednesday, I yeah, want you to release that. Uh, that'd be great for us. That's not, I don't know that that's a crime. Wait, there's more. Last but not least. Britt Hume, also from Fox, led a panel just recently and said that collusion isn't in no way, shape, or form a crime, even though it's bad. Obviously, it would be alarming and highly inappropriate for the Trump campaign, to, of which there's no evidence, by the way, of colluded with the Russians. All right, now, can we all point out the common denominator here? These people are all Fox News affiliates. We know how Trump praises this racist, one-sided media company for being one of the only ones who give true news, because the news is usually in his favor. Well, Mr. President, telling the world that collusion isn't a crime is fake news. It's a lie. Collusion is criminal. PolitiFact reports colluding with Russians could break at least four different laws, including the Bipartisan Campaign Reform Act of 2002. Did you hear that, Fox News? Get your head out of Trump's behind now. As a matter of fact, take it from election law specialist John Coates. It is a federal crime to conspire with anyone, including a foreign government, to deprive another of the intangible right of honest services. That would include fixing a fraudulent election. I can agree with Senator Al Green when he said, Trump is not above the law. So what if he is rich and he's white, and he gave you folks over at Fox News some attention? If Trump committed the crime, he needs to pay. Ain't no sugarcoat in that. I'm Rebecca Azor, and for authentic news you can count on, visit content.news.